What is going on YouTube? It is your boy J Man and look y'all today we are back with another video. Oh my goodness, I'm tired of having to say the same show over and over again. This is one of my last attempts for Mike Wang to understand that he needs to address this issue on NBA 2K. Now, if you guys know what I'm talking about, we're covering once again, and I'm and yes, I'm covering it because I'm tired of people not talking about this. The player status, bro, needs to be addressed. I don't care what nobody is telling me. One thing that some of y'all got to understand that the, some people that are, they're just really bad at this game and they're really like at everything. Don't know what they're doing on the court. Don't play defense. Don't know how to play offense. Just puts you in a losing situation. Right now, what you see on the screen, I was on my center and I, and I was teaming up with T and we were playing with two others and they gave us an AI. But what we're going to focus on today is the two that they paired us up with. So you see the guy says shifty sniper, right? Casual. And uh, you see an inside out ISO specialist, 92 overall, right? Bronze. Well, today you guys are going to see, including Mike Wayne, right? Why those guys are on the status they're on. Not only did they put us in a losing situation, they are the reasons to why we lost this basketball game. This is not going to be the longest video because the things I'm going to cover is, once again, we've already talked about it. But I just want y'all to see why I keep bringing this up. Because even my day ones, they'd be like, oh, bro, like, you know, what's the point of closing out? You got an A teammate grade. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, no, you got to understand, bro. It don't matter if you got an A teammate grade or not. You get punished. You get penalized for other people's play. And it should never be like that. Right? But I want y'all to pay attention and focus real quick. Just pay attention real quick. So here's the end of the game, and as you guys can see, we clearly lost, right? Well, but you see the problem I have here. Yes, basketball is a team sport, and, you know, you win some, you lose some. But I have no control on whatever the two that I just showed you, what they do. And like I told y'all, see, this is some of the stuff y'all don't understand. I tried to tell you guys, I get some of the worst players to touch the game when it comes to finding people to play with or something like that. Yeah, you saw I was playing with T. T, A, A minus teammate grade, nine, uh, nine assists, five steals, played both ends of the floor, only missed three shots, was three or five from the, from the three-point range, right? Was efficient, right? Yeah, T person had 18 points. But most of those points were on fast breaks due to the horrendous guard play. And that's not an excuse. You want to know why it's not an excuse? Because T also led the game in stops, right? So it's not an excuse. It's a fact. Just like how my center was being guarded by an AI the entire game, had 34 points, 16 rebounds, five assists, uh, zero steals, two blocks, one foul, and four turnovers. Just 15 for 20 from the field, four four for the free throw line. So you see me and T, A teammate grades. We should not be penalized for those two. And that is the problem I have right now, currently, with NBA 2K. What is the point of playing in a proven grounds, in a rec center? If you're, it don't matter how you perform, you are going to get penalized for people on your team. If we want to be real here, you're going to say, but Jimmy, you was being guarded by an AI. I have no control over that, right? Because how many times did I tell y'all, guess what? If we had cross play in the game, there's no excuse for you to put AIs on people's teams. You see what I'm saying? But 2K continues to do it, right? My center allowed three points and four rebounds, one of one from the field. And I go down because you gave me and T two guards – <clears throat> and an AI who are pretty much useless. The AI didn't even have a stop the entire game. These guards, you had both, look at their teammate grade. And Mike Wang, this is the stuff that makes me kind of very angry and irritated with you, right? Because this should have been addressed. I don't know why it's not being addressed. This should have been addressed. I want you to understand something. You do realize if this wasn't a problem, I wouldn't really care if I lost games in a rep. Because guess what? I know my overall play 
I had an eighteen minute grid. I played my role. I did what I could do. Just because those two don't know what they're doing, that's not my fault. You see what I'm saying? But it's the fact that you penalize us for how those two play to where now it's a bad look on us. Think about it. Your overall status and performance should be based on your play, not your, not the team's play. You see what I'm saying? L- let's say if I'm going to go on the record right now and I want to sell a game. Guess what? If I, de- if I decide I want to sell and make sure the team loses, the whole team gets penalized for it. Why do you think players sell? Why do you think players try to make people lose games? Because they know, oh, it's not just me that's going to get penalized. The whole team get penalized for it. The fact that this has been kind of ignored and not talked about is disgraceful, bro. Because this has a big impact on people wanting to play the game. See what I'm saying? Think about it. If you are playing, you had a really solid performance. You, a teammate grade. A teammate grade. An A teammate grade, no matter if it's a win or a loss, your status should immediately go up. Because guess what? You not only played well, but you probably played both ends of the court. Like this game, T, like I said, 15 points, 9 assists, led the game in assists somehow, 5 stops, only 1 turnover, right? That's solid. That's real good. You see what I'm saying? That's not elite, but it's real good. It's efficient. One turnover, six and out from the field, play both ends. My center had 30 plus, two blocks, right? Missed five shots the entire game. Yeah, I have four free throw attempts, but only missed five shots. If you want to know why he had four turnovers, you tell me why. Guess and tell me why he had four turnovers. You see how runnish the guard play is, right? So there you go, right? Now, I know you're going to say with Jay Mid, you know, you talked about people giving effort. It looks like those guys get gave effort. When we get when I show you how these guys play, it's not you're gonna see a lack of everything. Because remember what some of y'all tried to tell me? Oh, well, Jay made they made the court size bigger, so you know that's gonna fix most of the problems. And what did I tell you? I was like, that don't mean nothing, dog. That don't mean nothing. Because a lot of these players, they lack everything. They don't know anything about basketball, they have no knowledge, they're just out there running around. Doing nothing. But the fact that you're blaming people for doing their job is that's a problem, bro. That's a major problem. And I've said this numerous times, but this gets ignored because right now, like I told you, nobody enjoys watching NBA 2K. And can you blame them? Can you blame them? Game's in a horrendous spot right now, um, and nobody enjoys it, right? But this right here pushes people away from the game. I repeat myself again. Stuff like this right here pushes people away from the game. See, and y'all might be like, well, J-Med, bro, like, it happens. Bad games happen. Well, here's the problem. It's one thing to just say that or bad games happen. But to shoot three of them from the field, only have one assist and three turnovers, right? Not efficient. And allow your man to go for 21 points, eight assists, and five steals, nine for 18 from the field, right? The other PG clearly showed effort because he, yeah, he shot nine for 18, but he had eight assists and five steals. He played both ends, right? He probably got lagged at the end. We know how 2K does things now, right? The shooting guard, two points, Two assists, one steal, five turnovers. One for seven from the field, bro. That's that's horrendous play. And a lot of y'all like y'all, y'all like the fact that the game is so-called realistic. If this was realistic, both of these guys would not play. <laughs> you wouldn't play. Because if we look at how your overall play was, you did not exceed anything right. You didn't play defense. You didn't play offense. You didn't do no playmaking. How does T and me have more assists than the guards on the team? That's inexcusable. That's that's terrible, bro. See what I'm saying? So when we look at this, and like I said, the fact that the shooting guard, he played horrendous. He was 1% from the field and had five turnovers, right? Not efficient. He also allowed 17 points, two rebounds, four assists, and his man had seven for 12, three of six from the field, from the three-point range, 
Right. And a lot of, like I said, a lot of T's uh, person score was on fast because that's how bad our offense was, right? Um, and the AI, you know, the AI does dumb stuff nowadays. But let's let's get to why these guys are horrible. See what I'm saying? And like I said, it's a lot of fundamental stuff. But let's get there. So let's let's get to it, okay? So I have an AI on me, right? Now, somehow, well, if you have an AI, go to the corner. Understand, I am the biggest player out of both teams, right? So. I'm going to use my size to an advantage. I'm going to try to help whoever has the ball, whether it's T, the shooting guard, the PG. I'm going to try to use my size to help out. Because think about it. What seven-foot center who is over 250 or 260 is going to sit in a corner like a spot up? No, you would use your size to an advantage because that's a part of your build. See what I'm saying? So, look, I'm going to try to set the screen. Now, I'm going to freeze it here, right? You see the other guy right there, the two guys, his, his so-called. What makes it even worse is that's his teammate, right? These these two are teammates, right? This that's what makes this even a worse and embarrassing situation. I'm going to set the screen, right? Both of them are like small guards. His guy is going to do a backdoor cut, right? If you can see, he cut from the left corner. Well, if you guys know basketball, if the cut isn't there. You go, you really, you should just go to the next corner, right? Because the spacing, you don't want to, you know, bring everybody to, you know, where it's bad spacing. So where if you go to, if you come from the left corner, if it's not there, just go to the next one. But instead, you know what he does, right? He comes back out here and makes it even worse. Now, y'all like, okay, well, I don't see the problem. Do you not see how many people are in the middle? Now, again, a lot of y'all that don't know this, I prefer when I'm playing center to be at the top of the key because it gives me a better positioning. If somebody misses a shot, I can get the rebound immediately. See what I'm saying? But it's the fact that it's small things of basketball and knowledge that these guys don't have. Why would you run to the top of the – why would you run to the hash just because the cut wasn't there? You should have ran to the right corner. Notice how there's nobody in the right corner, Right? We're going to say, well, T should have went to the right corner. Well, guess what she does? She goes to the right corner. But now, guess what you have here? You have a problem because look at your spacing. It's bad. You see what I'm saying? But that that should never happen. And I can see the comments now. Well, bro, I'm looking at this one right now. It says your standard shoot 30%, so you're a threat from the three-point line. Did you not hear what I just said? I am being guarded by an AI, right? So instead of me just sitting in a corner being useless as the biggest, biggest and strongest player out of both teams, I'm trying to use my size to an advantage to help anybody. You see what I'm saying? There's no reason why number 25 or number double zero should have came back out here. He should have ran to the next corner. But instead, it's bad spacing and it's free points. But it's small things like that. You see what I'm saying? To where this is why they, they put themselves in losing situations, bro. Right? Because can you imagine... If I was in the corner and I'm not setting screens, right, and we have nothing going, well, you know what they're going to do? Oh, the center ain't doing nothing. You see what I'm saying? Because I've dealt with this before. I've I've sat in the corner as a 250-pound, 260 center, whatever you want to call it, at seven foot. I'm sitting in the corner the entire time. Nothing is happening, right? To where now they're like, oh, well, the big man just sitting in the corner. He ain't doing much. So when you see when I try to help people out, they still don't lack, they still lack basketball IQ. And like I said, just because the court is house bigger, I don't mean nothing. <laughs> Let's get to the next play, bro. So you guys would think after the previous play, I'm not going to show the entire game. There's no point in doing that, right? There's no point. You clearly already lost. No point in showing the entire game. Do you think after the previous play that, you know, okay, they would, you know, slow down and actually pay attention to see what's going on? Well, if you pay attention, the guy is still cutting. His man, that's his guy. That's what I'm saying. That's what makes this even more worse. That's his guy. Oh, and by the way, these were grown adults. These were not kids, by the way. These, these were grown adults. These, these were grown, okay? So I don't want to hear that. Uh, you know, they're probably kids. They're not kids, bro. They're not. And I told y'all that. That's what I said. Based on my experience, it's old heads, bro. I, I deal with, you know, old heads lacking basketball IQ. See what I'm saying? Let's continue on this. So look, he's cutting. Now you might think, well, he did that because T got open. Well, but guess what? He doesn't see that T's open because clearly T is wide open, right? Again, basketball IQ, understanding situation, what's going on. He doesn't, right? 
So look, does the same thing. What are we doing here, bro? You see what I mean? To where it's like, why, why are y'all doing this? Did you not learn from the last play that it was a turnover? Right? But and this is why I told y'all when I play, when I when I bring my PG bill back, yellow, when yellow comes back, I'm gonna be okay. I'm gonna be straight. Because yellow plays both ends of the floor. These guys don't play defense. They don't even play offense, right? So you're putting yourself, and he's going to do the same thing. See what I'm saying? To where it's like, like, look at what we're dealing with here. It's like rush, rush, rush. It's just bad basketball, bro. Um, And if you guys want to see what happens here, I ran into paint because at this point I'm getting frustrated. I'm like, okay, at this point, me trying to help people out ain't, ain't work, so I'm not just going to paint. You see what I'm saying? There's no point, right? And I ended up getting a three-second violation. But all of this is because of stupidity, bro. That's why I say I get the dumbest teammates. Dumb. Because you literally just did the same thing last possession, but you come back the next play, do this, I'm going to cut, and if it's, I'm going to come right back to where the center is. It's like, what are you doing? <laughs> it's sad. I also keep reminding y'all that if you ever did run into me, that all of that flopping stuff, it don't mean nothing. Because look, Right here, I think T did this on accident. She didn't even mean to get him the ball because you clearly said I set the pick because me and T were trying to work, right? But look at this. You would think, what did I just show you the last two plays of what the guy did? He cut, and if it wasn't there, he ran back and killed the spacing. Two times. Here's the third play. He cuts. It's not there. What are you doing? <laughs> do you see what I mean? Like, it's, it's sad, bro. But guess what? What he does affects what it penalized me and T. It is the dumbest thing ever, bro. He did it three times. And the reason why I'm showing this, which is why are you showing this? That is why they're on the status they're on YouTube. That is why I'm showing it. I need 10,000. I need 10,000 views for this video. I need at least... 3,000 likes on this video, bro. I need 3,000 likes because nobody else wants to speak the truth about this. I'm showing y'all evidence of how dumb some of these players are, bro. He did it again. He just has just has to move, bro. Just has to move. And yes, we understand having an AI does not help anything, right? But the fact that you cut again and the corners once again open... You run back out and bring a defender to where now there's three defenders over. Like, what are you doing, dog? It's just bad, y'all. It's bad. And we should not be penalized for th for these two. Why do you guys think I said you might it's like I'm it's like I'm forfeiting games? That's what it seems like. It's like you have I have no I, no chance. And what did I tell y'all? Early in the game, it's not hard to figure out. This was in the first quarter. So if this is in the first quarter, you think we had a chance of winning this? Of course not. Of course not. T's like, you know what? The setting screen stuff ain't working. Just go in the paint and attack the AI, which is not a problem. And you all might be like, well, Jeremy, why didn't y'all do this from the get-go? You got to remember, we're playing with two others we don't know, right? So if this was our game plan, Right. And number one, do you think that is going going to work the, the rest of the game? Like, I'm just going to ask you that real quick, because even T knew this. Yes, I was able to finish on the AI. Right. But do you honestly think and it should have been an and one. Do you honestly think this is going to work the rest of the game? Of course not. Of course not. You see what I'm saying? Of course not. That is why you didn't see me in the paint. bro. Right. And plus, if I was in the paint, you still going to have to do cutting in the paint. To where he's bringing an extra defender to guard somebody anyway. You see what I'm saying? So, I mean, it's, it's, it's a loose, it's a loss, loss situation, bro. Now, the game is 2 to 11. Ladies and gentlemen, what did I just tell y'all in the comments, bro? Or in, in the video in general? I get what? Dumb teammates. Dumb. Right? And this also goes back to why I get hostile with people in the mic. Because. Y'all let these people lie to y'all, bro. Like, when these dudes are on the mic, like, when I, when I talk about these point guards or guards yo, that just like to rim run, and they and y'all be like, well, bro, they probably just got high finishing. No, they don't. That's not their game. You see what I'm saying? They don't. They're, they're telling you a lie because they have no 
uh, confidence in their shot. How do I know that? Look at this right here, bro. Right? So he's going to – that's, again, what makes it even worse, these two know each other. Why would you put him in this situation? How many times did I say at least get the ball past half court? Oh, now nah, he's going to launch it. What makes it even worse, he catches it and goes up with this. <laughs> that's what makes it even worse. Now he's on cold, rightfully so. It's rightfully deserved, right? Well, Jeremy, why are you still showing this? Remember what I said. There is a reason to why they're on the status they're on. They're not good players. They're horrible players, bro. But me and T get penalized for how they play. You see what I mean? It is completely backwards. It's not right. And nobody's talking about it, bro. Nobody's saying anything about it. Like, oh, that, well, that, that's normal. That should not be normal. That should not be the case. You should not be penalizing players for other people's play. That's stupid. This is like, if y'all want a real life example, this is like somebody at your job forgetting to clock out. So what the manager does is, oh, since so-and-so didn't clock out, everybody about to lose some of their money out of their paycheck. When it was one person who was not responsible for what they're supposed to do. See what I'm saying? That's not fair to everybody, right? That's not fair. Everybody should have their own responsibilities instead of being held for others, right? Now, yes, you can hold people accountable, but if people are going to play like this, there's nothing you can do. Again, if y'all are going to be in the comment section again telling me, well, maybe they have high finishing, I repeat myself again, okay? Stop letting these guys lie to you, right? Because, again, at this point, we're down 5 to 15. Why are we down 5 to 15? Is it because the other team is better than us, or is it because we're doing stupid stuff, bro? See what I'm saying? Y'all tell me. But, again, people got high finishing, right? This is what I'm saying. Y'all letting these guys lie to you. He got high finishing, right? Let's see it right here. Punched. But he got high finishing? Dude just flopping, bro. But I thought the dude had high finishing. That's not his game. And it ain't no shocker. It ain't his game. But guess what? Me and T are penalized for how these two are playing. See what I'm saying? It's bad, bro. It's bad. And that's why you, again, YouTube, that's why you don't see me in the paint. If I'm in the paint, guess what he's going? He is going to cut if I'm in the paint. And bring an extra defender. So right now it's easier to, to slow me down or, or stop me because now you're bringing an extra defender to guard me with the AI, bro. But just look at this, y'all, because dude's obviously somewhat of a finisher, bro. And he's that's not his game. It's not. I told you, these guys have a 90-plus ball handle and a 90-something three ball. They're just afraid to use it. That's all it is to it. Not, not even sure why he even shot this, bro. Like, this is the dumb shot to take anyway, right? But guess what? The reason why I'm showing this is because... Again, I'm showing y'all why you see me at the top of the key. What did I just say? When I'm at the top of the key, it puts me in a better, you know, position to where I can get second opportunities. Right here, again, I'm at the top of the key. I don't know why he shot that ball, bro. I don't know why. Like I told you, playing with people like this, you will lose. You see what I'm saying? He misses it. I go and I get the board. You see what I'm saying? And then I score. Right? But that is an example of why you see me playing at the top of the key. Because I can now, you know, second opportunities. YouTube, this is not four times in a row. Why is he out here? The corner is what? <sighs> I mean, and this is why I'm telling you, don't tell me I'm supposed to feel. That's what I'm saying. A lot of you in the comments, oh, you be overreacting. You don't get players like this, dog. You don't. There's nothing me and T can do. We can't control how they play. You see what I'm saying? He is literally on cold, and it's not because of Tuka. It's because of him. He's doing it to himself, and instead of him fixing the problem, he's doing the same thing over and over again. The same thing. There's nothing me and T could do. Nothing we could do. What did I just tell y'all? What did I just tell y'all? If I cut to the paint, what is he gonna do? This what I'm. This what I'm saying. Don't tell me. Don't be like Jamie. Nah, you overreacted. What did I just tell y'all? If I cut to the paint, 
He's going to cut. Look. He look, look where he's at. I'm a free. I'm a freeze. He's in the corner. I'm a freeze right. I'm a freeze right. I'm a freeze right here. So you would think he's on cold. He stays in that corner. Remember, these are not kids. These are grown adults. Well, these are adults, right? He's in that corner. He's on cold. We're down nine to nineteen. T has the ball. I don't know why. This I don't know what the other guard is doing, right? But T's like, you know, go to the pen. I'm like, all right, bet. I'm gonna go. I go. Why is he? He did it again. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? What did I just tell y'all? He that's four and five, four times in a row, five times in a row, and it's still the first quarter. That's what I'm saying. There's no point in showing the full game, bro. There's no point. There's nothing you can do. T's gonna shoot that. She scores it. You see what I'm saying? But we should. Why would you do the same thing? He did the same thing. And if T would have missed a shot, it would have been on him. Because guess whose guy came out to guard that? That's his guy. Watch this again. Look at that corner. Look at that corner, right? I'm going to freeze him right here. Look in the left corner. Look whose guy is right over there. That's his guy, right? He brings his guy to T. Watch this. I go to the paint. He runs to where T is, and the dude's going to try to contest T. You see what I'm saying? But we're penalized for how he plays. <laughs> it's stupid, bro. Then you might be also asking yourself, with well, J-Mid, so far you only showed offense. You, you ain't showing nothing about defense. Oh, you want to see defense? <laughs> okay, the same guy that's on cold, the same guy that brought to the, his matchup with T, can he guard his matchup? Of course not. His guy's wide open, bro. Wide open. There's not even a contest. One way, bro. But my whole point is the reason why I'm showing – we should not be penalized for how he plays, bro. Or how both of them play. Because both of them are absolutely terrible in every category. I don't care what nobody say. If you think these guys, oh no, nah, they just had a bad game, you don't you don't know you, you might you gotta be blind at this point, bro. It's it's not even about a bad them having a bad game. They they put us in losing situations. Oh, with Jamin, his team did that. Not the other PG. No, the other PG did too. Because he studied throwing him the ball. Why are you throwing him the ball if he's not if he's clearly on cold? He clearly ain't playing on defense. Why are you forcing him the ball? Stupid. And that's why I said I lose because of dumb things. What has the white team proved that they are so much better than us? They haven't done much. They're literally scoring off of our mistakes. Right? But again. Me and T should not be penalized for what those two do, bro. I'm just call it what it is, bro. And this is why I said, YouTube, there's no point to show the full game. What are we going to show the full game for? I repeat myself again. What is the point of showing the full game for? Do we not see what's on the screen? D minus. D minus. D minus. You see what I'm saying? Notice how me and Tia are only ones with B teammate grades. There's nothing we could do about those two right there, bro. When, you know, I was like, I I'm, I'm just done. I'm like, I didn't want to play. Like, I was like, you know, I'm not setting no more screens. I'm just going to get out the way, right? And for all of y'all in the comment section, that probably thought, Bro, nah, 2K be hoeing on them plays. They probably got finishing. Okay. They got finishing, right? When will y'all listen to J-Mid, bro? When will y'all understand, like I kept telling y'all, these guys have a 90 ball handle and a 93 ball. Finishing is not their game. That is three times, four times in a row, he has gotten that same shot blocked or snatched. That's what I'm saying. I don't lose because people are so-called better than me. I lose because of stupidity, bro. Look at these guys. And again, he did the same thing his teammate did. Because guess what? What did he do, right? He cut. And he runs back out to the middle, and it gets snatched. <laughs> but me and T are blamed for his play. That, that ain't fair, bro. And Michael, you got to address that. You got to address this. I need 10,000 views. I need 3,000 likes on this video. Y'all need to get this video out there. 500 likes. I need 
Can we push a video like this out of here? Because I'm tired of this being a problem. I'm tired of getting blamed for people that have, that have no knowledge. And you are, it's like you are forced to lose. That's how bad it is. I repeat myself again. You are forced to lose. Because if you back out, you get banned for closing up. You see what I'm saying? You get banned. So it's like you're, you're tortured to, to stay with this. And in and, and your mind, you're like, how is this guy this bad? Like, how is it this awful of for you to not even do something? That, you can't even space the floor properly. You can't even do that. You got your shot snatched three times. It's like, you know you have no chance because this only the second quarter. Like I said, we need to get this without out there, bro. I, I'm so tired of this, bro. I'm tired of this. And it gets ignored in the 2K community. It gets ignored. Mike, when you need to address this problem, stop penalizing players for other people's play. We have no control on what they do. Well, Tim, y'all do have control. I'm going to Mike and talk to them. That doesn't work. What do you think T was doing? T was on the mic saying, what are you doing? Why do you keep moving? <laughs> That don't it don't fix nothing. These guys are just flat out stupid, bro. Stupid. <laughs> like I said, if it was real life, they would be benched, cut immediately. That's how bad it is. After this play right here, YouTube, I, I gave up. I ain't gonna lie to you, I gave up. <laughs> After this play, I gave up. Let me tell you why. The AI is wide open. We're down 14 to 23. I mean, if anything, can we get some type of help from somebody? AI is open. Number 25. It's calling for the ball. Why? What? Like, I mean, I just don't understand. This is the stuff that I'm talking about. Why are we penalized for this guy calling? Because he's clearly calling for it. Because like I see the comments now where, bro, not an AI tends to pass the ball. Bro, he's clear. 25 is calling for the ball. Look at his hands. He's calling for it. AI is wide open. And it's the initial we settle for. So once again, I'm going to ask you guys this in the comment section. Is the white team just that better? Or are we just doing dumb stuff? Dumb things. Why they car keep going off? Ain't mine. <laughs> I'm actually glad this play right here that you guys are about to see happen, bro. Because this is why I tried to tell y'all that this right here was not going to win the game. You see what I'm saying? Because they're just going to double. You see them? They're just going to double, right? But watch what happens on this play. Watch what happens. Dude is laying. Bro. And it's deserved because he is the he is the reason we're losing, including his teammate, bro. Stupidity. Okay, man, that's an animation he can't get out. Nah, bro. It's one thing about if it's just an animation. This was deserved, bro. Because he is he clearly put us in a losing situation from the start of the game. Terrible, bro. And these dudes just flopping, bro. <laughs> I don't know. That's what I'm saying. That's why I need 10,000 views and, and 3,000 likes on this video because, I mean, again, it's, it's every play. He misses that, right? Once again, you got blocked four times. Make it five. You see what I'm saying, you two? You see what I'm saying? Look at this. He's already gotten blocked and snatched, blocked four to three times. Make it five. You see what I'm saying? You see, I'm 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 done. I'm stopped playing. I'm, no, there's no point. But we get penalized for that. That ain't fair, bro. It's not right at all. Y'all make sure y'all push this video out there, bro, because this is unacceptable. This, this should not, you should, you can't keep penalizing people for how other people play, bro.
I want these two banned from the game, bro. That's how bad they are, bro. I want these two banned from the game. YouTube. YouTube. Do we, do, what? I mean, it's been a whole half. You got blocked five times. But your game plan is, guess what? I'm going to get blocked again. Why? You are not a slasher. <laughs> and if you're going to ask me, well, Jamie, why did you go in the paint? Remember, when I was outside of the paint the entire time, first half was doing us nothing. We couldn't do anything. So now I'm I'm talking to Tim. I'm like, okay, I'm going to just be in the paint the rest of the game because there's nothing we could do when I'm outside the paint. So I'm thinking he's going to throw me the ball. No, he drives and gets blocked. Can't make it up, bro. You can't make it up. Like I said, hit the like, subscribe, be on the road to 5K subs. I need 10,000 views. I need 3,000 likes on this video because um, this is ridiculous. Um, y'all can say, oh, y'all barely lost. But, I mean, why do we barely lose? Because of me and T, you know, we try to do something. But, I mean, like I said, you can't control what these what you mean, other people do. So, I mean, we should not be penalized for how they play, bro. And that's what happened in this game. And the other team, if they ever see this video, all of that flopping all y'all kept doing, I just want you to know, if we didn't have, I mean, and they know that. They they know why we lost, right? But for them to be flopping, that's what I'm saying. Don't be texting me or trying to talk to me if you beat me because you clearly won because I was paired with two idiots on the team. Other than that, like I said, man, I'm out, man.